as much as like I really love watching the show, then I think it was the right decision to cancel the show. What's up, Cody Cutter Scott? Welcome back to the podcast. Before we get started, make sure to absolutely smash the like, but make sure nothing is left. Yeah, so in this episode, we talked to Eden Kai, who many of you probably know him from Terrace House. And so we talked to him about his time in Terrace House, what he thinks about the new Terrace House being canceled, the importance of mental health and his new music. I hope you guys enjoy it. Eden, so can you give us a quick background of who you are and where you're at today? Totally. So, hi everyone, or aloha. My name is Eden Kai. I was born and raised in Tokyo, Japan, and my entire family moved out to Hawaii when I was 14 years old, so after seventh grade. And since then, I've been uh, playing the acoustic guitar, ukulele, and singer songwriter. So, I'm mainly doing music. So, I guess uh, a lot of our listeners might most know you from being on Terrace House. So, appreciate、uh, it. As a quick intro as well, like, how did you get on Terrace House? So, I was on Terrace House,、uh, Aloha State, about four years ago. So, I was a senior in high school. And、um, it really depends on、uh, different cast and stuff. But for me, I just、um, didn't really、uh, know anyone at the time. And I remember, you know,、um, winning a whole competition、uh, locally in Hawaii. Uh, playing the acoustic guitar、uh, instrumental, and、uh, that definitely kind of boosted my confidence. And I wanted to,、uh, that kind of made me decide it to、uh, pursue on music、uh, full time. So I heard about this opportunity. It was, it was going on like everywhere,、uh, not just Hawaii, but you know,、um, what I've heard is you know, the entire、uh, mainland, mainland too, also. And I just, you know, brought my ukulele and yeah, just passed through the audition and yeah, made it. So I'm, I'm super blessed and、uh, grateful. I, I know that、um, the other cast members of the season you were in kind of are all over the world, but for the ones who are in Hawaii, like, like Eric, for example, do you go and Regularly talk to him? Is, is, that, is that something that、um, you guys communicate or Avion? Yeah,、uh, occasionally. So,、uh, technically, Aloha State was the only series they've actually done outside of Japan. So, it first started、right. off in Japan.、Uh, so, again, like, yeah, exactly. Everyone lives in different places, whether if it's you know, different states or、um, Japan. So, it's all over. And, Yeah, Avian and Eric are the ones that's、uh, still in Oahu.、Uh, not Aloha State, but from the older Tokyo series, Arman is also in Hawaii、um, as well.、Right. So, you know,、uh, when it's like, you know, someone's birthday party or、uh, Eric recently had a birthday.、Um, so, yeah, I just wanted to stop by. Yeah, and so I did. <laughs> I said hi. So,、nice. occasionally we, we do hang out. Um, yeah, it's getting you know, kind of tougher、um, these days, but, but yeah, I- I'm just super happy to you know, see everyone staying healthy. And yeah.、Uh, I guess I'm not sure how much you can say towards this, but is, is there a- an- any influence that the production crew may have? Like, for example, in Aloha State. When, when you left, was it more like, oh, I, I want to go and leave right now? Like, this is the time? Or was there some little nudge from above coming and being like, oh, I, I think it might be time for you to go, Eden? Like, <laughs> get out, <laughs> get out. <laughs> yeah, just kick you out. Like, <laughs>、um, I, you know, again, like, it really depends on other casts and stuff. So I can't really. Talk much because I don't know their situations, but、uh, right. for me,、um, I'll be really honest. I like high school was tough though, because I, I was you know, also attending high school at the same time while living at the house. And it's, it was further than、um, where I live at the、oh, high school、wow. that I went to. So I basically had to you know, go walk down the hill. For like 20 or 30 minutes、uh, to able you know, catch the bus and stuff, and you know, just、uh-huh. so many activities at house. So, 
you know, Everdale was getting less sleep. And, <laughs> uh-huh. and you know, sometimes I got kind of forget to do the assignment. So I try to do, you know, during classes. Uh, so basically, you know, my grades are. Ah, uh, yeah. I see. Uh, that's crazy. It's something <laughs> so, you never really think about. Never really think about at the the distance from the the hill because you just see a little bit of the hill in the beginning of the the series, and <laughs> that's about it. Yeah. So wow, it was a thirty minute walk down, and then how long? <laughs> how long was the bus ride? So sometimes when they leave, they they take all their luggage and go down the hill. So like, <laughs> yeah. like, for thirty minutes. It's a long way. It's a long way. Down, so. It's a long way. <laughs> so you know, I, I really wish um, you know I could. I could have like you know handled both, but apparently math was not my most favorite subject um, <laughs> from high school. So, um, but I, I, I at least I tried. So, <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. I mean, you're there like ten episodes. That's that's pretty impressive. At handling everything all at once. I mean, especially that that commute. You got to go down yeah. thirty minutes. Oh man. Yeah, I'm glad they didn't have like a scene of you rolling your luggage down for 30 minutes. I'm glad your parents came to pick you up. You know? <laughs> they just like were in a car filming him going down for 30 uh, minutes. Uh, totally. <laughs> <laughs> it's, like, it's a good um, cardio, yeah, cardio workout. <laughs> yeah, one thing I was always curious about is what happens um, if you guys hang out really late with the um, like. What happens with the the crew? Because Sometimes they even film you guys going to bed. So do they stay over that night or do they sort of like wake everyone up and clean up afterwards? Uh, I, I hope they're not filming, you know, like while we were sleeping. So. <laughs> <laughs> Just have like, they're like a yeah. terrace house, like snoring compilation or something. <laughs> this is randomly put it out. <laughs> <laughs> oh man yeah what was it sure there's like a lot of uh, competitors competitors (laughs) with the snoring and stuff but oh man yeah Uh, was was aloha state a a snore a competition Uh, did you ever did you ever hear any competitions going on when you were there Uh, i i think i snore too Uh but on I don't know. Everyone else was really kind, right. so I guess I never really received uh, complaints. So, uh-huh. yeah, maybe, maybe they were just louder, <laughs> really you know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe, yeah. They they were in a higher level. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You, your snoring yeah. got drowned out a little bit there. You never had to a little worry. bit. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe everyone was just should, thinking uh, the exact same thing. They're like, shoot, like I hope they don't like talk, like mention my snoring. <laughs> I should just, probably uh, train harder. <laughs> this becomes like an anime training arc or something. Yeah, exactly, Do not exactly. to get a yeah louder snoring. Oh, oh yeah, to get the louder <laughs> snoring. All right, all right. That, you're right. It is a competition. It is a competition. <laughs> yeah, and I'll just like you know send the stem data to uh, you know the producers or um, for mixing and mastering, and that that'll be my next single. <laughs> you know, I can't wait. We can't wait. <laughs> Yeah, you got, you got a friend zone, and then you got snore zone. <laughs> then it's the next <laughs> <Snore zone. laughs> I'm sure, like the last song is uh, was really you know unexpected as well. Right. Yeah. I, I guess maybe potentially then that means you um you did write one song on the terrace house. Maybe there is a hidden song mm. somewhere in there that we just never got. Oh, just gotta you know keep writing so. Uh-huh. <laughs> Got to keep snoring. <laughs> well, we'll see what comes. <laughs> comes next, you know, we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, I remember I was like going um, back a, a couple, um, watching some of the episodes again um, before talking to you today, and um, yeah, I remember one thing that was like really funny. I was like, I don't know if this is foreshadowing or not, but it, it was like right in the beginning when you were talking to the guys and it's like you know the classic like terrace house scene where everyone meets up and like oh are you interested in that girl are you interested in this girl and they 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 go and say who they're interested in and then when when it comes to you right when you say like what what you're gonna who you're interested in you're like korekara that was like the first word that came out of your mouth (laughs) and i was like wait um, which one was that which one was that it was like um right right in the like right after you moved in 
and um and then you guys like it was the first time the guys were meeting like in the guys room for the first time and they're like um like oh who which girl are you interested in and oh, oh, yeah from- and, and, and you're like Koreka, like from from now on type of thing but it was like it just ha- so happened to be the first word that came out of your mouth i was just found it really funny i'm like oh man you're interested in coming on the podcast weren't you <laughs> it was meant to be you know like <laughs> it's foreshadowing <laughs> foreshadowing <laughs> yeah maybe i saw like four years later you know myself on this podcast so yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> looking back you're like oh man all right quickly go go back in time that's real cool. quick that's cool. <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah yeah I, I actually happened to catch some other cast members saying it too so who knows maybe they'll come through as well yeah. we'll see <laughs> we'll see you guys better yeah, see if we can, if we can <laughs> yeah for sure yeah no we'll, we'll, we'll try to we'll try to we'll try to have everyone come through <laughs> I guess one thing though that like I guess in in a way you've kind of been a part of like sadly like some of the sadder scenes on the show like as a whole right <laughs> like the at the post scene with Laura or after Yang and dinner by yourself as well as the fireworks show which I I heard the fireworks show was she she told you beforehand right and then you you ended up just going by yourself anyways right. It was cool. <laughs> yeah. Was that ever something like the like? Did anyone tell you like, oh, we need to go here and film you at this fireworks show versus like it, you just wanted to go there because it, it was it was kind of it felt kind of bad. It felt like they just did you dirty um, for no yeah, it reason. Like they intentionally wanted to make it look sad. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm you know like I'm I'm sure like some people enjoyed it, but you know some people thought that it was kind of too much and stuff um wow. so it there might be you know like there might be or there, there were like you know a lot of uh different opinions about that uh but you know like just i'll just say no regrets overall uh-huh. you know, it was mm-hmm. it was cool uh-huh yeah it's just um a lot of you know like mixed feelings mm-hmm not just you know like on the show but it's it's you know like obviously i was in japan for work and stuff so i I did have like you know um so many stuff going on at the same time Mm -hmm. uh, as well which they never really on air right and uh that's that's another long story maybe i should write a song about that too it was definitely a life uh changing experience yeah Uh it's not not the fact on what happened has happened on uh the show but you know just just overall like you know appearing and uh i'd say like you know receiving feedback uh from others and just you know like a little more uh stuff that's been going on around the same time absolutely made me stronger right uh, not just physically but like you know like mentally uh, as well if you guys know what i'm talking about but yeah so i i'm you know, trying to aim for um to be a better version of myself yeah yeah i think i think to you know just to really experience uh like you know like the bottom uh uh-huh. oh wow so ten- sentence so uh uh-huh. yeah, yeah. Not I- technically because of like what happened like you know the whole fireworks and stuff not technically but uh-huh. but kind of at the same time so it kind of like contributed good idea yeah <laughs> yeah it's just was it kind of like the reaction after it was aired? I mean, yeah, some, somewhat. And I, I guess kind of going from there, though, I mean, it's always the, the blazing question. And I mean, it's mm-hmm. 2021 now. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, I'll just ask the question that everyone is wondering. What's the 2021 Eden Kai dating update? Is Has anything, any action oh. gone down? 
You know, actually, I, I totally forgot about like the whole entire subject until、right. <laughs> you guys mentioned. So, <laughs> I, so last year I've done this crazy thing called Hundred Days Live Stream, where I live stream nonstop for hundred days during lockdown,、uh, which、right. means I hardly didn't even go outside during、uh-huh. <laughs> the lockdown. <laughs> so. You know, like just for the past last couple years or so, I I I was just like just too focused with the music and you know what specifically I wanted to. Right. So long story short, nothing. <laughs> Is it something that you 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 think you're gonna continue just tunnel visioning in on music, or do you think it's gonna be something like oh, if something happens, then it happens. Or you're like, oh, this is the time. Like, 2022, it's time to get it. Like, <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I don't know what is it like, you know, in 2022, but it's、uh-huh. it's um, I could say for sure that you know it's just I again, you know, I do get a lot of you know like different opinions and stuff, but right, I so I, I'm I'm not really actually you know a guy who's really really desperate you know for. Romance、yeah. or、uh, love, so you know it's、yeah. just I'm、um, open. Like,、mm-hmm. So if there's like anything along the way, but it, that's not my priority. Right, right.、Uh, in life, at least for now,、mm-hmm. you know, just want to create more. And but actually, I'm I turned twenty three,、uh, September twenty fourth. So for my Twenty、uh, third year of resolution will be, you know, to、uh, meet new people, whether if it's you know actually in person, actual in person, or online. You know, just get to know uh, people, uh, you know, make new friends.、Uh, so that's definitely something I'm kind of excited about. Right, right. Yeah, get to know yeah. people. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we we got you. We got two right here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yeah. Korekara squad. Korekara squad. Yeah, don't worry. We'll, we'll squad up. We'll, we'll we'll pull through to Hawaii sometime. We'll squad up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but one one thing though is you you mentioned earlier your Instagram live streams, and that, that's something you've been doing a lot during the past quarantine, being really active on social media. Mm-hmm. And、uh, another thing is too is reels and like for example playing music with different twists and challenges. So has that been successful for you? And how, how has that entire kind of journey been like since quarantine? It would have been if I would if I continue on with the whether if it's like you know streaming、uh, or or reels or you know. Because、uh, I've been, you know, like trying out like different new stuff, see what works, what doesn't. So I've also like been trying like to post、uh, a lot more frequently on YouTube as well.、Uh, right. But I, I'd say like I'm just I'm saying this to myself,、uh, towards myself as well. But you know, just consistency is really the key. I feel like so. It's、uh-huh. it's been not. Not good, not not too bad. But if I, you know, continue on、uh, right, since last、right. year, then it would have been、uh, showing better results. But that's is, something is there, I learned. What was maybe some、know. of the difficulty of like staying consistent? Was it like maybe any burnout? For everyday live stream, I was I felt burnout constantly because it was just basically DMing. People that I know. Sometimes I a person I never met,、uh, and just you know constantly like checking their time zones because you know someone lives in Japan or mainland, different country.、Uh, so, and then I I kind of like write down like the topics I want to talk about. <laughs> so I've done that, like every day. So, oh you know, man, <laughs> and I'm I'm kind of like a person who needs a day that. That I don't basically do anything. I just like rest up, but I、mm-hmm. did not have that. So, right, which kind of created that burnout. I see.、Uh, that sounds really rough. <laughs> Always, you have to constantly have ideas, using every last ounce of creativity. <laughs> <laughs> Plus, like lots of energy. 
right so, right i mean i think the same caffeine. <laughs> oh <Yeah. laughs> i gotta have the caffeine the the hawaiian coffee coming through <laughs> Add some Konas, oh, and yeah. <laughs> oh, you gotta have the Konas. You gotta have the Konas. <laughs> well, one topic I I really did want to discuss though is, mm -hmm. of course, so you're part of Terrace House, and which is now canceled. So, mm -hmm. and and I mean, it's it's something where you, kind of cyberbullying and kind of negative comments fan reaction kind of comes into play right and that, that's something that I, I would say prior to the cancellation is something that not many viewers or fans really thought much of right and but at, at the end of the day is something is it's something really is, is really real right in terms of mental health is very important and things can really affect people who are on reality shows that way right especially with how connected everything is so I, I guess first of all what are your thoughts on terrace house being canceled as much as you know like i really um love i i just really you know like love watching uh the show in general but you know at the end i think it was the red's decision to at least you know like cancel the show and it's a really i mean not just like a, a sensitive topic but also a really really complicated topic to discuss about and uh i was it was during my everyday live streaming so i knew about this uh during streaming and i remember like just uh my brain was not you know like uh functioning uh properly and i just was just you know shocked at the point i just couldn't didn't know like what to say or you know like what i just completely lost my words wow uh i just well no, I'm, I'm not saying like, i'm glad but in a way that i since i didn't know her but i was still you know like really um felt something you know mentally so i can't even like imagine what is it like to uh you know know her personally and mm -hmm. and had to like experience that so i'm sure it's right. been a lot and and i can't believe it's already been over a year yeah over a year uh, now yeah but, but um that's i can't really say if it's like you know only oh like it's only the production side's fault or something you know just i, I just don't know the specific situation but i could say for sure that the timing was it wasn't like the right timing you know of course like during the lockdown and stuff um because i really feel you know face to face face interactions or you know like those um what's the word like uh human connections are really important mm -hmm. right uh, you know just those like interactions and stuff when you actually meet and when when you can't do uh those activities um, at the moment then it's easier um to have a more alone time which kind of creates this whole overthinking uh, stuff as well and and uh that's what you know also like I've experienced that too and uh, others also you know said that it, it could have been you know like any of us uh, as well and yeah I could kind of you know, like see both views you know people saying that I hope like mm -hmm. sincere like I'm sure you should be responsible um, and you should just like take it you know like take um, criticisms and stuff but I could say as someone that used to be you know on the show it's it's pretty different when you actually on the show than uh than what you what you've like expected before uh -huh. so even if if you mentally are prepared or if you think that you're mentally prepared like you know it's just been, depending on how much of like you know backlash or uh, hates you're going to be receiving it's it's going to be um a whole different level 
So right. it's, it's really hard to describe um, words, but yeah, so it's definitely um, complicated uh, topic to discuss about, but mm -hmm. you know, it's just, yeah. But as much I as see. like, you know, um, what has happened at the same time, I just um, really, you know, again, like overall, like to the show, like I want to thank at the same time, because if the show didn't happen, then I would not be here. Like I'm not who I am uh, today. Right. Uh, you know, it could be something that I learned from it. Also, you know, like how much of like um what is it exposure like in terms of like music uh, mm -hmm. that people uh heard and it's uh it's definitely a change my life and i was you know s still during on the show you know like debating on uh whether if i should attend college or not but after all of that, I, I've decided to go on full-time music. But, you know, it's, it's really interesting at, at the same time, because if that didn't happen, then, you know, I might have, like, maybe try for, you know, college and stuff. But, you know, if, if I couldn't, you know, like, make out of, like, living, then who knows, like, I might have, like, chosen, like, something, a different uh, major, or I might have, like, you know, who knows, like, maybe quit music or something. Um, so, yeah, so it's, it's, it's really complicated, right. but mental, yeah. mental health comes first. Definitely. Right. Yeah. yeah. And, and I guess speaking to mental health as well, I mean, ha having personally been on the show and I mean, of course there's comments everywhere, there's hate everywhere, mm -hmm. but being able to go and overcome that, right. That's another like really big step. And I know you personally, after all you've been through have taken so many steps up and had so much personal growth, like not only just the show, but just all the way your journey all the way until now. I don't how what does that kind of take and how how have you kind of emerged like as a better person out of all of this? I think it's uh it definitely changed my whole entire mindset. So you know instead of like separating like who I who I like as a person or who I dislike but instead of that you know like I I'm now more focusing on people who help me uh, right. these days and you know just support uh, backing me up as to be to be a better you know human being uh, so now I'm more I'm definitely in a better place uh, right. uh, mentally for sure. And I feel that I need to appreciate more and, you know, really think and, you know, like care about these people instead of like, you know, hating someone. Uh, so yeah, just my mindset definitely changed. Yeah. And, you know, just, um, grateful that I'm here now, you know, doing what I love. So, it, you know, it might um, sound in a way kind of cheesy, but I, I really mean it. I really mean it. So, yeah. Right. Yeah, I really appreciate you sharing all of that as well. I think it's really powerful as well coming <laughs> from you after having been on that, you know, and it's, um, I think, a lot to learn and really a good way for, I mean, it's like people have been going through a lot of tough times during the mm -hmm. quarantine as well. And be, seeing someone who has like overcome things, you know, like you can always, there's always a beacon of light type of idea. Right. And yeah, I mean, once again, really appreciate you sharing. So yeah, I guess like overall you've mm -hmm. been really busy putting in a lot of work like with music and mm -hmm. other projects on social media and Especially with like your latest music, like Friends Zone being your latest mm -hmm. single, you've done some acting and also social media, like I talked about. But what can we expect next from Eden Kai? Like, what are your future goals? Definitely to, uh, you know, try 
uh, try out like something totally new in terms of like different uh, types of music. Uh, you know, uh, currently being an indie artist uh, at the moment, I definitely would like to, you know, try out like different categories uh, for music as well. And, you know, also like as much as possible, they want to discover uh, new places uh, as well. So, yeah. Right. Do we, do we have a, maybe a sneak peek at any new music coming on the horizon? Well, one thing I'm definitely are uh, working currently uh, with like some, you know, just a few uh, bonus tracks and stuff. And, uh, definitely one thing I want to uh, be done or finish is uh, my next EP. So I'm trying to release that and maybe, you know, um, since everyone has a different types different type of uh, uh, favorite music. So to my fans, my OG fans, I might start something new also. Oh. Maybe next year or something. So, but we'll see how this, you know, whole thing goes. You know, who knows? I might, I might move out or. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. If, if wow. this whole, you know, like, um, this whole COVID thing didn't happen that um, I was actually thinking about moving out to uh, LA, believe it or not. Oh, wow. Uh, but, uh, you know, just we'll, we'll, we'll see how this uh, whole thing, whole thing uh, goes. Right. Uh, but definitely, you know, like trying out new stuff and yeah, definitely, you know, keep music going, stay consistent and yeah, stay healthy, stay safe excited to excited to see the future <laughs> unravel yeah. here for you yeah <laughs> thanks of course of course yeah and here I, I guess kind of wrapping up here Ian this is what we do at the end of all our podcasts it's the classic <laughs> it's the Korekara message to the viewers oh. the listeners to the Korekara squad and this can be a message could be anything it could be anything that comes to your mind so i'm gonna put the lights on you they're shining bright eden that's the the mic is passed mm -hmm. on to you <laughs> now that i say that it would have been funny if you just brought out your guitar and started like singing something <laughs> <laughs> oh man I mean, yeah oh, oh oh is that the, the message is gonna be oh okay <laughs> the freestyle rap the freestyle, <laughs> freestyle rap <laughs> Um, what could it be? I'll just like play something. Along with the uh, one that's any. Alright. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. So. Oops. Okay, here I go. All right, everyone, thank you so much. Mahalo for watching and listening Korekara Podcasts. And they're one of the most genuine, open minded, and coolest podcasts that, I, that I, I was ever being a part of. So keep listening, keep watching. Thank you so much. All right, thanks for making it to the end of the podcast. Make sure to subscribe to catch next week's episode. Guys, make sure to comment down below your favorite Terrace House moment of all time. And as always, we have to thank our patrons, the one and only Faraz, Brit vs. Japan, Quaid, Alan Card, Cage, 90 Drew, Jack, Yui, and Sad Boy. Thanks.